All right, two more. Back with another one. Sorry about me here. Eh? It's a bit wet. I just got out of the shower. Been on a three mile walk with beasts. Get them back. We've got beer meal from Mad Squirrel. I'm not sure they're based down south somewhere. I can't remember where exactly. I heard about these from Paul's beer reviews. He raves about them. Also, there was a code. I can't remember what the code was. We've got a little growler of the Hopfest gluten free pale ale, three and a half percent. It only filled yesterday, consumed me in five days. That's Friday night sorted. That'll do me. Right, let's get into the beers. What are we on? Big C West Coast IPA. A couple of these cans are a bit damaged, I've noticed. I'm not mad, I'm not mad chuffed about that. I might send them a little message, but they're all 440ml cans. This is 5.5% and it's the West Coast IPA. I'm not sure if I said that. What else have we got? We've got that many in here. I'll say that many. We've got Zealous Pills in the Lager. Again, that's a bit damaged. 4.5%, 4.4. Sounds lovely. Bustly Nut, a <laughs> double hazelnut stout, 8%. The can art looks amazing by these guys. The can art looks really impressive. Very impressed. Smolder Smoked Lager. This is the one that Paul told me about, and he said it was fantastic. So I'm excited to try that. Roadkill, New England IPA, 6.5%. Again, that sounds fantastic. They all, they all sound really good. What's this one? Dilla Whip, a Warnut, Warnut, Warnut Milk Stout even. That is 4.5%. They're all 440 cans, I say. The, the can art's amazing. Hood Blink, a double chocolate white stout, 8%. That's so why these are quite strong. Could be on my ass if I have a few of these. What's that one? Oh, we've done this. This is Mr. Squirrel, premium bitter. Again, the can art's amazing. A couple of these cans are a bit damaged, which is a bit annoying. Another one that's damaged, this is Native Hell's Lager. Can you see there? There's. I'm going to have to send him a message about this. It's not really on. It's a shame as well because it's the first time I've ever ordered from them. Sumo American Pale Ale, 4.7%. Again, they all look incredible. Last one, Midnight Black IPA. I can't wait to try these guys. I'm really excited to get into these. It'll probably... Uh, I'll review a couple of them, but I don't think they'll all be coming to the channel, but I will let you know what I think of them. I'm excited. I'm excited. We've had two beer meals in two days. Good stuff. Right. Have a good day, guys. Stay safe. Peace.